Hello, it's Nerby here for another demo review. This time it's for Invite Highlander and it's going to be for the player called Colloquially Callow Demo. And just an FYI, that's the only time you're going to hear me say that word. I am not going to call you Colloquially. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Callow for short. This is for Highlander this time around, by the way. This isn't 6v6. Uh, as I said before, I do. I do Highlander reviews. I, I play a lot of Highlander. I love Highlander. I don't mind watching Highlander. I'm more than happy to do a demo review of Highlander medics. I'm gonna find him. He's the blue medic. Elias is Kahlo. Perfect. And we're just gonna fast forward through it. Not gonna be a very long one, despite it being Highlander. It's gonna go way faster than the Sixers ones, apparently. All right, it's about to go up now. Now, the biggest thing you want to do when you're in payload of Highlander is that you always want to say, come get buffed. Heavy's actually super important to buff up, especially if he's on Fist of Steel, because he can just Fist of Steel on the cart, and your Soldier too, with your buff right now. I think Heavy's getting buffed. I don't care if the Heavy are running up right side, but I think Kresnik does it too. It's probably a good idea. Honestly, you're just going to be in spawn. Like, not much else a Knight can do. Uh, going Crit Creek is actually, like, a good idea. I think it's a good idea to do on offense, but the thing is, is that I would only do it against spies that I knew didn't have the 3D thing. Uh, it's pretty common knowledge to know which spy has it or not. Uh, I played with Jacob, because obviously you're playing against me right now. But <laughs> I don't remember if this was before or after he decided to finally put it on. So I might get owned by this. But uh, you guys just died to a trap, so I, I was going to get owned by it. But yeah, like, that's the number one thing you want to watch out for is like, uh, I was a cheapskate. I would just to check to see if spy is act if the spy had the three heavy element or not. Like I can't check. People just tell me like, oh, the spy had it. You know, because I guess I'm a scumbag like that. Now it's not your fault why you died to a sticky trap there. All right, this is what you never want to do here. Uh, the sniper is still alive on the red team on my team, and you're running through the main gate here. You never want to do that. You always want to go straight through the right gate, because you can risk getting headshot like pretty easily there. And even if your team's at forward like that, I just take the point in risking it. Yeah, here's a perfectly fine angle to play, and you're turning around pretty well. I know you didn't die that much this game, so I think your awareness has to be pretty decent. Yeah, I really like how much you're turning around. Alright, six, nah, there you go. Now you know the spies on your sniper, I would be turning around like the weekends here. Because now you know the spies around you. I would tank, yeah, I would keep your soldier buffed up and I would have tanked the rest on your, uh, demo man. Did you hit that arrow? That was a good arrow. I don't know if you hit it or not. But, yeah, there, shooting the arrow on the soldier was a good idea, but your demo man should have gotten tanked way more. You guys did a good job cutting the uber, though, or at least your combo did. You're, I don't think your demo man should have died and, like, red team wouldn't be able to push out so hard as they right now. Right died. This is just silly. That, you just ran towards the soldier for no reason. He was still up there. I understand the pressure in this situation where it's like, oh, you know, oh, uh, I want to run away from my team because they might yell at you or something. But you can't be afraid of some words there, right? You just got to run back and like, wait for that soldier to get taken care of. Now here, yeah, you want to be more careful to spy. I think running to the right side here is good. I kind of wish your team was with you, though. I don't know why they aren't with you. Because I, I wouldn't want to risk peeking the sniper in main. He's up and our team backed up, right? I hear you just beat the state line for no reason. That a lot of Megs don't know this is a sight line. Actually. But yeah, it's a sight line you really want to be careful of. Nice arrows. Nice arrow on the sniper. Our sniper's dead. Oh, yeah. I was, I was literally about to say that, like, you're not turning around, you're shooting a lot of arrows. You really gotta be careful. If you ever cut, if you ever see stuff shooting more than one arrow, just turn around between every arrow. Even if you turn around and you don't see the spy, if the spy is cloaked around you, he's gonna be dissuaded from looking at you. Turning around is enough for make make the spies not want to backstab you. Woo, okay. <laughs> Alright, here you're in a pretty suboptimal spot, which is in this corner. Uh, you can team shot on, so you rotate to the right side. This main's only good if you want to get this sniper v sniper going on. But it looks like no one's taking a sniper v sniper. I don't know why Shay is afraid of taking a sniper v sniper against Facebook. <laughs> Alright, I'm 
All right, here you're walking away from your team and then able to do some more damage with Scout. Exile kind of fed there, and uh, I really think you just backed up poorly there. Like, I don't know why you guys end up through main and coming up here in the first place. You guys should have been coming through the house. If that was if this is what your plan was. I think going to right side is a good idea. You guys should have been going to right side in the first place. But then you being here, you chose to back up into here at the most awkward time. Like, pretty much before your team decided to walk there, which got you pretty much murdered. You could have lived, honestly, if your power air blasted those pikes, but he had his flare gun out. And I know River was cheating. I don't know if he was cheating this time, but I know River got banned for cheating. I think it was River. <laughs> I know he has the air blast spot. There's no excuse here. The suboptimal weapon. Gary, you should just can't kill your demo man. You're afraid of the sniper. You're not looking for spy again? There you go. This is a good position to be in for spy. Your sniper should be looking to the right here, like to make it so that Demi Dolan doesn't want to look here. I think he is now, but like, your sniper can add a lot of value to make sure that this right side's not so annoying. Because this right side here is like the most dangerous spot to be in. I like your arrow timings. Alright, the sniper's dead. Now the only thing I worry about is a spy. If you're not turning around for a spy on your hand, there you go. You gotta worry about your left side here. If I ever turn around, I try to make a conscious effort to turn around to where the spy most likely decloaked, which would be on my left side here. But you turn around to the right side. I guess they popping off here, so I, yeah, this is like a good time to go for a new thing. You guys pop first and wouldn't do that on your own turns. But unfortunately, the space side is good. I dropped space. And you're just caught out. There you go, good sandwich. Oh no. Bolt totally should have killed you there. I don't know why he was on pipes. Alright, River's dead. I'm dead. Okay, so. River and your Delman are dead. That's bad. But I'm dead. That's good. Your guys is. You gotta keep focused on keeping yourself alive here. The only thing. Your, your life is too way too important right now. I wanna say good sir for the tree in a way. <laughs> You're peeking at sight line right now. In case you weren't aware. I think you're peeking Simon a little too much. Like, if you're playing against Boar right now, Boar loves to peek aggressively and obviously things godlike. If there's like two times, you probably would shoot because you've been dead. Hey, you guys have amazing ad here. What you guys should be doing with your ad is just bully this try to overwin up top. Getting up top on third pretty much guaranteed to have it. Okay, yeah, we lost our solar. It's perfect to win up top here. The pile just really missed the spy. I honestly thought you were turning around pretty well there. That was just really good timing from Jacob and your pyro. I don't want to say your pyro messed up because again, I like I don't like to blame my pyro whenever I get backstabbed. But like you guys are ready to push. You, that, like, you can't risk turning around every two seconds in that situation. That's your that's when your power has to realize, oh, this is most important time for me to make sure there's a spy. But also it looks like the pyro, I don't know if you just got unlucky, because it looks like your pyro just barely missed the spy. <laughs> Unlucky drop, you guys honestly should have had third with that. But here in this situation, you just want to pick a side to be annoying on and just be annoying. You can't really sack, unfortunately, against the third point. Normally, it's the type, the type of situation you want to sack. But here, like, you guys are either going to pick the left side or the right side, or you're going to force a sniper sniper. Pyro's down, I would go right side. The only thing you got to worry about is the sticky. You guys are left side. Not sticky, he's air blast. I mean, yeah, the only thing you got to worry about is sticky's on the right side. I don't agree with the arrowing here. I would be tanking with people on the left side. They're kind of ignoring your double man heavy, like your pocket classes. Unless this is them sacking now, you're kind of ignoring the people. This definitely isn't exactly when like, your double man died. Yeah, you, you should have been with your combo players on the left side. Fortunately, you have your pyro, but. Yeah, the only thing you. You really just gotta pick a side and be annoying here. You guys are just... You guys just aren't doing anything, play, frankly. Alright, here, that's a sight line you gotta be careful on the right side there. You gotta be careful picking that. You wanna hook the left wall there. Alright, you got that pile out there. That was actually his fault. Didn't do anything on there. Your power should've been more involved in that over. Bane got caught out and decided the monkey. <laughs> 
Getting the repressure up top here is great, but you're down your sniper. That means my team's gonna play more aggressive. You gotta keep that in mind. And you gotta be worried about the bottom right here. Like this situation sucks, because River... It's okay for River to be annoying on people, but River's gonna get owned like You're down your heavy. River's gonna get owned by the heavy if anyone decides to pressure him up top against Exile. Honestly, it'd be better if you could just take Exile while River watches behind you. Like, you guys just gotta play to be annoying. Alright, fortunately that spy was on this bicycle, but like never never risk turning your back to this spy, just look at him. That spy was on a regular knife, there was a slight chance he could just back that you there. I like your arrows. Alright, the right step was down, you can peek this left side really aggressively. There are heavy as I'd be denying that scout. Or I don't know where I think your power just respawned. Oh, I'm dead right now. I just died a headshot. Oh, perfect. You guys just gotta be annoying now. Literally, you guys can play it slow. And there's no rush. Your goal should be not to pop here. The only thing I worry about is the spy. You see, yeah, you should put up your back against the wall and just turn it around. Like that. This is good. Okay, and, and see, this has me scared. You didn't turn around. Like, it's okay to turn around every other second, on. So even just to play walking backwards. The sniper's dead. The only thing you gotta watch out is for his bombing classes, but your team should be calling that for you. Alright, you guys have really good eye here, so you just gotta be careful. Or you just gotta wait for the cart to go forward. But you also wanna make sure that I don't get Uber again. So you should be playing to be annoying here again. I think you guys should be playing on the right side. Sniper on the right side is really annoying, and we have to play passive. So you guys are able just to walk up the right side. But you're playing on the left side, which makes it so you don't have to do anything. I guess, I know Exile, and I know Exile most likely called a pop there. Which I don't agree with. Uh, you guys had to waste like almost 3 seconds of just trying to walk, and you only got the gun. You didn't really get anything outside of that. Hey, yeah, but that's really good. But I'm almost towards Uber. If I get the Uber... Oh, I don't know, I lost a lot of fun players. Where did I pop? I popped up my sniper! Nurse, you get this soldier! Alright, now that Uber actually worked out. I feel like my team fucked it up real bad there. But Air Uber worked out, so I can't get the bunny. I honestly think my team just really fucked it up though. Well, we totally should be able to hold that. That was a little goofy. I don't know why more teams don't do that. Like, there's really no reason not to put down Chris the key. Alright, obviously, you just gotta watch out for the sack wave here. I think this is too passive. I like to play in the corner there with the health pack. It's extremely hard to get sacked down there. But, oh, Shea killed our sniper. That's like perfect for you guys. Like, his say line. What the fuck is he looking at? He died. <laughs> And the only thing you gotta worry about tanking in this situation is just your downline of the sniper. Your sniper is currently dead, which is really, really good for our team. Your sniper is like probably the second most important class to have on this point. Are we on crit screen? I don't know if this is around a time where I like doing crits on first some of the enemy. Alright, Shay just got there and almost died immediately. You should have I wouldn't bother hearing the soldier, you just gotta get buffed out. And then Shay made that back. So Shay's gotta be aware of his own life here. It doesn't seem like Shay really cares about. Like he's not like he has to be like more conservative. Your Delman just got caught out there. Like you can't pop Uber unless you're ready to pop Uber. I think it's okay to drop the Delman just because it would have been a shitty Uber. Oh wait, never mind. I popped Uber already. I didn't even realize. No, you totally should have popped to save your Delman. Oh yeah, if I realized I popped first, I would totally have saved my Delman there. Cause like now you guys popped later, and if I live, I'm gonna have a higher Uber than you. Actually, I'm not building that well, but now you gotta play that fear with that fear. Cause like popping at the exact same time the enemy like pops, just to keep your demo man alive, you probably could still be holding first right now. But honestly, I didn't even realize I popped, so you probably didn't even know I popped there. But something to keep in mind. This angle sucks. Yeah, you just figured out why. Like, it's so easy to get spammed there and the sniper went for a hero shot. I don't even know how he didn't die. 
quite honest. Oh, yeah, you got more Uber than I do. Did I die or am I just being really shit? Man, I suck. Alright, we got your sniper. That's slunky. But I'm not building Uber at all. I'm still in my 60s. Yeah, I always fake whenever I need to mix and have it. It's usually when I try to fake because the time with the mix will be. Alright, here I think my team wants to go for the exchange. Yeah. But if we went for the exchange because Shay is dead and you're down a pyro, this is a good exchange for us. Like, my any good team is going to take the exchange if you any time your pyro is dead. And now my team should be holding down W here because your sentry gun's down and Shay still got to show up. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly what my team needs to do. But like, we're willing, like, we spawn faster than you guys. We're willing to do trades. I might die. But yeah, you're, that that was just a shitty Uber trade because your Pyro and Sniper were dead, so our team didn't really have anything to be afraid of post Uber. You guys had a really, really, really good port last push. I Meaning, so pretty much like the biggest times in this map you guys have to deal with. So my team's actually on crunch time. So we're kind of desperate here. Shay really has to be concerned. It's like he's put himself to get caught out. Like it's okay if he has to play like a pussy. Your sniper has to stay alive on defense. Like him just existing is better than him going for hero shots. I'm so surprised Vinny didn't want to hold down double that Uber, honestly. I was forced eventually. I like you were right there. Benny usually loves taking those Ubers. If he said to go, I would have followed him on her feet. Because I know when Benny played up us, we just didn't we just <laughs> we just listened to him whenever you want to take an Uber. And if we had like Kresnik heavy. And for Sniper, that's probably, this probably would have been the best Highlander I can ever play it on. Zukima and like... Space Ghost are obviously good, but you know... Horror is godlike and stuff, it's the best heavy to probably ever... Ever. <laughs> I love Kresnik. He's, he's always my favorite heavy. Here, you're doing a good job. You guys have Ubra and you're just holding down the fort. There's not really much I can say here in defense, like, you, you're literally playing side of the Spencer, you just got playing the Spencer, and you're keeping your sniper buffed, which is the most important thing. Your sniper and your classes are peaking to get buffed. Your class that should be peaking here should be your pyro and your demo man. I don't think your pyro has to hug you so hard, because it should be, like, almost impossible for the spy to get up here anyway. And plus, you should be turning around enough that's why not people want to get on you. This is a good milk, except Shay died, that's his fault. I feel bad for BMing Shay. It's just like, he's literally dying in a situation he shouldn't be dying. You're down a sniper and you lost your scout. My team has the option to rush down there, which is what we're doing. You died because, like, my, I bet 100% my team would not have been that confident if Shay didn't die. Now, now you didn't do anything wrong there. Literally, there's no reason for you to expect our team to hold down W there. Except you should keep in mind, like, like, you gotta think about what's gonna enable a team to run forward here. And my team ran forward because, oh, we got the sniper and, like, we have more players. We're just gonna pick a side and rush it and hope. And trade blows pretty much. Hopefully, it works out for us. I'm really sorry. When it comes to, like, defense and Highlander, there's really not much to say because you literally are playing defensive most of the time. So, like, I usually just end up talking about what your team should be doing a lot. Just because, like,. Usually, if you're dying on defense, like, you already are pretty aware as a medic. Like, if you're dying, most of the time, it's probably going to be because your, your whole team made a mistake, not because you so, made a sole mistake. Here, you, uh, I want to say you should be taking your pyro, because we didn't take any, uh, never mind, for the way I take it back. But, like, if there's, like, no, expo uh, no, like, uh, what I say, hit scan classes, it's okay to just take your pyro. That was a situation I remember I was completely willing to die in because like I wanted to get a good push. And like it's okay to die in situations where it's like, oh let's just get let's see if we can make something happen. Yeah, you know, this game was actually a match. It could be like a super dope match, honestly, since so close. Here you, know, you gotta be re aware of your own life. Oh you lost a heavy that's really not good. I don't know why Jacob bothered doing anything there when... Oh, I think we're... I want to say we're sacking. But I, if we were sacking, it wouldn't be done like that. 
Like, any would have died if Jacob was gonna die, that's for sure. But I don't know what my team is looking at. But talking about you for a second, you're, you're doing perfectly fine. You're playing behind the barrels, you're being dispensed, you're buffing your sniper. I think you guys are being too aggro a little too early here. Like, you guys have a minute for you left. Uh, you guys, you guys should need a bigger reason to get aggro or something. Like, I don't think you guys should risk putting players in a poor position to lose them. I fear you have to play as lame as possible. Oh my god, watch A. Damn, I think you popped way too early to that pyro. I think what happened there is that you saw your heavy was hurt and you were thinking about saving your heavy, but you didn't want to do it. And then you saw your pyro and then all the chaos, you know, Holga made into one just hectic thing. You're like, ah, I have to pop. Uh, I think you can milk it harder against the pyro. Like, your heavy's already dead. The best thing you could do in this situation is just milk it even harder. And ideally, just not have to pop. Yeah, it still went well for you guys, though, but... Am I on my team's room all the time just being annoying? Put arrow up in here, actually. Alright, this is gonna turn into like a last second Uber situation. So you're really gonna wanna use the Uber on your Pyro. They're building it like kind of slow here. It's like really important for you builders, but like it sucks because there's a dispenser right there. Exa kind of threw with his dispenser plate in it because you're building Uber slow because of it. Now, if my team manages to kill you during this, oh, we will have to fight people. There's no way it's gonna go well. Yeah, there's no way to get this. I think you should use that Uber more aggressively on your pyro, as I said earlier. Like that's really should have been more on your pyro. It still worked out well. I guess my team just kind of... People just kind of randomly died there, but again, that's probably just due to it. It's last. There's no time left, so people probably did KO. Like, no matter how good your team is, like, people are going to mess up in their situations unless they're, like, super used to it. But, like, you have people like Banny and Zukima. Like, Banny does not use the Highlander. Then you got Zukima, who is, like, still pretty new to higher level play. So it's kind of like they're going to mess up in their situations. But like, I don't know, like during defense, like you played perfectly fine. Like it's like really hard to find anything to say about defense because it's mostly about is my team messing up 90% of the time for medics who are like are aware of what's going on. But your offense definitely could have used some work. The biggest thing I could say was like, you didn't, you weren't very aware of the Nishé sniper sight lines that were going on. Ah, like, uh, what can I, what was it? Like, you know, there's especially on that second point, or the first between second point, there's like, Sniper has like a lot of stupid angles there that you weren't, didn't seem very aware of. We were playing like way too risky for for like no reason. So, like if you're playing against like a Sniper like Boar, for example, you might realize you're gonna get headshot a little bit more just because he peeks way more aggressively and he misses way, way less. Also like space for some reason why he streamed. I don't know if he still does. In like Windows and Window full screen, like he streamed his monitor, which adds input delay. And he would always complain that he missed his shot. You know, he said he clicked on it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. Like you could tell him that all day. He would like. I don't know. But uh, it seemed like your team just mostly had random issues. Like you guys, like on offense, didn't know like how to play the angles more annoying. Like you guys had a really good time, but like honestly, like if you guys knew how to be annoying, you, that kind of probably could have been like a six-minute time, probably, or maybe even a five-minute time. But like when you guys had an advantage for I an advantage going for you guys, you didn't really seem to like milk it. Like you should be able to take an inch and milk it for a mile in those situations. Like especially my team was like giving you like you could kill Space Ghost and have Uber ad. Or it would be even Uber, you kill Space Ghost and you could probably kill another class. You guys just gotta pick a side and be annoying. Some like you guys we weren't doing that. And there's that last point situation where if my team actually I don't wanna say separate right, because we were at Uber just sad. But, like, if it was, like, an even situation, you guys may realize you would have been stuck there for a while, like a lot of teams are. That's because you didn't try to take over the right side sooner. I think, obviously, your last point went well. I think I built Uber pretty shit, and my team's 
Oh, it's like, well, my team was doing pretty bad. It seemed like during, like, the chaos situations. That's, like, I don't know, something to be keep in mind. It's mostly just offense. Just needs a little bit of tweaking. Like, you gotta learn to be more annoying. And then you gotta be careful when they chase sight lines. And then, uh, you gotta keep in mind the automatic Uber. Like, there's that point on the first point of defense where I popped Uber first. And I didn't even know I popped Uber until I saw my things at, like, 8% when I paused it. So there's a chance, like, I don't hear comms. So there's a chance, like... You probably didn't know I popped either or whatever. But like in that situation, if you just popped to see your Delamain, you probably could have held first for a, a bit longer. And then, uh, obviously there's that point on last where you kind of popped for no reason against a Pyro. You're at like 130 HP. Even the Pyro Flare to you would have been down to like, what is it, like 40 HP. But yeah, like, your awareness is pretty good. I think, like, you gotta be more aware when you're shooting arrows a bunch, because it seems like you, you just stop thinking about turning around when you're shooting a lot of arrows. Your arrow timing was pretty good. Uh, your arrow DM was honestly pretty good. Uh, your aware, your general awareness was also pretty good. Uh, it was just on offense, it just needs a bit tuning better. Uh, some fine tuning for the pick classes, you know. And it seemed on defense, anything that went wrong is really your team just made some random mistakes. But, yeah. I think you did pretty solid for the most part. It's just like, I'm certain if you even watch the demo yourself, you would see all these little tweaks you can make but yeah i still hope you found something useful hope you have a great day and uh, thanks to anybody who watched and thanks for hitting me up